What's up, party people? We good? My, my name is Jamal Doman on the count of three. I want everybody to say what's up, Jamal. One, two, three. I'm happy to be here. I'm vaccinated. Yes, I'm vaccinated, man. This, this vaccination is breaking up families and, and, and relationships, right? This, this vaccination debate, man. Breaking up families and relationships, man. I told my cousin I was vaccinated. He called me up, cussed me out. Talking about, Jamal, I can't believe you let them put that poison in your arm. How did you let them do that, man? What is wrong with you? I work in the medical field. I know what's in that vaccine. I work in the medical field. I know what's in that vaccine. I'm like, you work in the medical field? You're a security guard at CVS. What are you talking about? <laughs> you work at this. Plus, plus you eat the McDonald's McRib sandwich. Same thing in the vac vaccine is in the McDonald's McRib sandwich. Same thing. Oh, the weekend is here, man. Who got paid this weekend? Got paid this weekend? Man, man. It's always good when you get paid, right? It always makes the weekend more fun. Who get that direct deposit? So they get paid Thursday at midnight. Oh, one of the greatest inventions of all time. God bless whoever invented direct deposit. God bless them. I used to love when I used to work, man, me and my girl be in the club Thursday night around 1130. I'd be like, baby, in about 30 minutes, we about to ball out. Just be patient, hold tight. Be patient, hold tight. Wait till that $300 hit my account. We're going to get a bottle of water. That's where we're going to get a bottle of water. A <laughs> little bit about me, man. I was born and raised in the Richard Allen Projects in North Philadelphia. Yes, from a messed up neighborhood. Messed up neighborhood, man. Neighborhood so bad, the mailman wear his regular clothes. <laughs> See, the mailman got on Tim's anyway. <laughs> Even though I'm from the hood, I live in Sherman Oaks now. I'm from the hood, but I can't fight at all. I, I'm, not, I'm not a thug at all. I cannot fight. I live in Sherman Oaks now. This one comedian don't like me. You ever have somebody like you and they text you and they all aggressive in the text? This comedian text me. He was all aggressive in the text. Talking about, Jamal, I don't like you. I want to fight you. Where you want to meet at so we can fight? I said, meet me at the police station. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for you with the lieutenant. You put your hands on me, you're going to jail, that's all I'm saying. Because I don't fight, I press charges, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm the type of dude, get to the courtroom an hour early, just snitch on you. <laughs> and my church clothes, I don't fuck around, I'm messing around. So I'm getting older, man, I'm at that point, I'm at, I mean, I'm at my 40s now, I'm at that, I don't, I don't bite my tongue age, I don't know if you're at that age, I don't bite my tongue no more, man. Had a doctor's appointment last week, man. I walk in, you know, the receptionist, she's in her mid-20s. You know, you go check in. They ask you the same two questions every time you go to the doctor's office. What's your name? Jamal Doman. Birthday, 9372. 9372. You know, this little girl looked up at me and she was like, is that 1972? Mm. <laughs> no, it's 1570, so I'm a vampire. Sign me in. If I suck your blood. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I mean, at that age, man, I just don't bite my tongue no more. I mean, you ever send a text message to somebody, some important stuff about some money, and they don't re respond to you? Oh, that pisses you off. Especially, you was like, I know they just didn't ignore my text message. Look, she pointed at him. He do that. He do that. He do that. <laughs> About some money, man. You can't even sleep at it. You'll be tossing and turning. Like, when I, get up in, when I get up in the morning, I'm going to send him another text. He gonna respond to this one, the one I send this time. You get up early, you go to your phone, you, you go to your text message, you realize you didn't hit send on the last text message, like I'm getting old. No wonder he didn't reply, I didn't hit send. I'm getting old, man. I was, I was in Miami a couple weeks ago, man, my friend, I went down there for my birthday, man, uh, uh, um, and my friend took me to this club, Miami club, you know, Miami club, banging all night, it's packed, man. I was in the club for like 30 minutes. I'm in the club for like 30 minutes, just sitting there, so I knew I was getting old. After 30 minutes, I, was, I went up to the DJ booth, I was like, hey, DJ, hey, DJ, can you turn the music down a little bit? Why it's so loud up in here? And where the seats at, man? I can't be standing up, bro. my back is hurting. DJ was like, you don't get your old behind the hell out this club. All these young people here, you messing it up. Get out of here, Grandpa. <laughs> I don't know, man. man. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get, you know, I want to settle down, man. I wanna, I'm at that marriage. I want to get married age. Fellas, you, uh, ladies, you ever notice about guys, we, 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 be, we full of stuff sometimes. We full of crap. 
Guys are full of crap. I'm a guy. I know we full of crap. You ever notice about guys, once our hairline start receding, now we want to settle it down. You ever notice that? As soon as we start getting LeBron James, now we want to be responsible for you and the kids. We want to be a good man for you and the kids. When we had a hair full of hair, we was in a club partying every night in Miami and, and partying when the music was too loud. <laughs> having relationship issues, man. Can I talk to y'all? We family? I'm having, can I talk with family? Keep it real with y'all, man. I'm having relationship issues, man. I caught my girlfriend cheating on me. Yeah, everybody say aw. Yeah, I had to call her husband and tell on her. You thought I wasn't gonna snitch on her, but I snitched on her. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend, she, she be trying to get back with me. She be texting me, trying to get back. Well, I don't mess with her, she stole money from me. Yeah, my ex, she stole, and I ain't call the cops or nothing. I just, you stole it, it's yours, I ain't. She still has my Netflix password. Yeah, yeah, she has my, net. I noticed that she's watching the Squid Games on Netflix. She got three episodes left. So I changed my password, that's what I did. <laughs> Like, take that. <laughs> I gotta start dating my age. I'm in my 40s. I only date 40 and up now. So I see little young girls all say, I don't mess with them young girls no more. I date 40 and up. That's all I'm about. I date women my age. These young girls got their priorities messed up. <laughs> These young girls, they can roll the blunt, but they can't season no chicken. Hi, look at them. Look at them. They know what I'm talking about. <laughs> These young girls, they can figure out the password to your cell phone, but they can't figure out a recipe on page 18. <laughs> All I'm saying is I can't mess around with no girl who never had a landline phone. That's all I'm saying. I'm a grown man. Look at the young girls. What is a landline phone? What is he talking about? How old is he? I can't mess around with no girl who never did the Star 69. That's all I'm saying. I'm a grown man. Look at the young girls. What is a Star 69? What is he? They have no idea what a Star 60. I don't mess with no girl who never did the emergency breakthrough. That's all I'm saying. I'm a grown man. Look at the young girls. What is emergency breakthrough, huh? How old is he? He's my daddy's age. <laughs> I'll be in toxic relationships, man. I try to stop that, man. I was dating this, well, I was in a toxic, I was dating a jealous girl. Fellas, you ever date that jealous girl? I ain't talking about that regular jealous girl. Cause all women have a little jealousy to them. Sometimes it's cute. I'm talking about that psychotic girl. You ever date her? Always in your phone. Who is Amber? Why is she alerting you? Who is this girl named Amber? Why she, it says Amber alert right here. You messing with a girl named Amber? I'm like, give me my phone. That's a missing kid. What is wrong with you? That was the del delicious joke. Some of you more of y'all should have laughed. I can tell. I can tell who went to public school. I can tell who went to private school by the way they. I don't date the girls with the waist trainers no more. And, you know, no disrespect. No disrespect. Anybody here got them on, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Them body shapers, women in the club fooling us. They out here tricking guys. And, you know, women put them waist trainers on, make their body look like a Coca-Cola bottle. They take it off, look like the two liter Pepsi bottle. I'm going to punch in your throat. <laughs> love my sisters, man. I love all women, man, but I love my sisters. Give it up for the sisters, man. Love my sisters. I love all women, but I love my sisters. Love my sister. Y'all got tricks with y'all too. I love y'all, but y'all got little tricks, don't she got little tricks with it, don't it? That's your boo right there. She got little tricks with it, right? Fellas, you ever date a sister who always tells you how long her hair used to be? <laughs> but she never had no pictures to back it up. I'm leaving. Can I get a eighth grade class picture? Can I get a prom picture? I'm so tired of you telling me how long your hair used to be. I don't know. You ever give somebody advice, but you always end with I don't know just in case the advice don't work out? You ever do that? <laughs> just in case. My cousin was like, hey man, I, I, I'm gonna get some new brakes, man. This guy said he'd do them for like $250 on my car. I'm gonna get some brakes. I'm like, man, listen, man, $250? You know you can go get your brakes. Buy the brakes yourself for like $50. Go on YouTube. They got all these videos that will show you how to put the brakes on, man. Just do it yourself, man. Just $50 for the brakes and you do it yourself. You save $200. But I don't know. 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 Just in case you mess up, I don't know. <laughs> But I want to settle down, man. I want to get married, man. I'm at that marriage age, man. I guess my hairline has receded, so I'm ready. 
But that, you know, I, I have a mentor. I was talking to a mentor who's been married for like 25 years. I said, man, you my mentor. What's your, what's your, give me some advice, man. What's your, what's your? He told me, listen, listen, Jamal, this is what you do. You go home, look in the mirror, make an honest assessment of yourself, and think about all your relationships in the past and the mistakes that you made and work on it. So that's what I did. I went home. I got in front of the mirror. I made an honest assessment of myself. I thought about all the relationships I've been in, the mistakes I made. I think the number one mistake I made in relationships, I was too petty when it came to relationships. I'm a Virgo. I don't know if y'all know Virgos are real petty. You know. <laughs> so, because one time, I'm going to tell you an example. Example, I was too petty. One time I was dating this girl and everything went great. We went on like four or five dates. The chemistry was great. She was in her 40s like me. It was perfect, man. It was, you know, we went on like four or five dates. The communication was there. Everything was perfect. She was beautiful. She was intelligent. We was this close to making it official that we boyfriend and girlfriend. We was this close to making it official that we're going to be in a committed relationship. Right before we made it official, she told me that she'd never seen the movie Come Into America. <laughs> that was the end of the relationship right there. Ain't no way you're going to raise my kids. <laughs> Ain't no way you're going to teach my kids right from wrong. You've been doing wrong your whole life. I could not believe that. I'm like, hold up. You're, you're African-American in your 40s. you never seen Coming to America? That's one of the greatest movies of all time. That's Eddie Murphy's greatest performance. You know what she told me? She said Norbit was Eddie Murphy's greatest performance. I was like, kill yourself. Kill yourself. I couldn't believe that. African-American never seen Coming to America? That's, a, that's like a white dude dating a white girl. And right before they make it official or they boyfriend and girlfriend, she tells him that she never seen Titanic. But like, what? You white, you never seen Titanic? That's in a white manual. What is wrong with you? Well, what is wrong with you, Karen? I can't believe that. That's like a Mexican girl dating a Mexican guy. And right before they make it official, they boyfriend and girlfriend, she tells him that she never seen Selena. But like, what the heck? What's wrong with you, Maria? How you Mexican, you never seen Selena? That's in the Mexican manual. Everybody know. That's like an Asian dude dating an Asian girl. And right before they make it official that they boyfriend and girlfriend, she tells him that she never seen Rush Hour. But like, what is wrong with you? How you Asian, you never seen Rush Hour? That, that's Jackie Chan's greatest performance. That, that's in the Asian manual. <laughs> that's like an Indian dude dating an Indian girl. And right before they make it official that they boyfriend and girlfriend, she tells him that she never seen Slumdog Millionaire. But like, what? A how the hell you Indian, you never seen Slumdog Millionaire? That wasn't the Oscar. That's in the Indian manual. <laughs> That's like a Jamaican dude dating a Jamaican girl. And right before they make it official, they boyfriend and girlfriend, she tells him that she never seen Cool Runners by Bumble Clyde. Ross Clyde. Bumble Clyde. Come on, Barbara, how you Jamaican, you never seen Cool Runnings? That's, That's in the Jamaican manual. That's like a lesbian dating another lesbian. And right before they make it official, they girlfriend and girlfriend. She tells her that she never seen said it all. Like, what else wrong with you? How you a lesbian? You never seen said it all. Queen Latifah should have won an Oscar for that. That's in the lesbian manual. <laughs> oh God, I gotta go. <laughs> That's like a gay dude dating another gay dude. And right before they make it official, they boyfriend and boyfriend, he tells him that he never seen what? I was gonna say the birdcage. I'm Jamal Doman, God bless y'all. Thanks a lot. This has been a Funny Media Group production.